Hi everyone, happy Tuesday. Starting another work week off on a Tuesday. Um, last time it was because it was over Mother's Day, but yesterday was Memorial Day, so we had that day off. So I'm starting a vlog now to do another work with my life. I'm on my way to work and now I have to be there early for a our staff meeting that we have every other week. Um, it's actually not super early, it's just like it starts at 8.30. I usually head in around nine, um, but I really want to get better about getting there earlier. Uh, ideally like eight every day so I'm aiming towards that don't mind my broken nail I'm like missing a whole nail right now I actually think I'm gonna like emergency go get them done today so obviously like did it think I was gonna be losing a nail they're actually like pretty grown out I was probably gonna be due soon anyways but we went to the movies last night we saw Top Gun which was really good um and I could feel that my nail was kind of like loose I was like messing with it the whole time and then when we left the movie it was gone so it must have like fallen off at some point which is whatever I'll try and go get them done I figured it would just be easier to go today so I'm gonna see if I can do that there's a place I used to go downtown and they closed down but it was really convenient because it was right outside of work and yeah just one day they like were totally closed down and I heard a girl talking at my work the other day that she still goes there she like mentioned it and I was like what I thought they were like not a thing anymore um, and I still looked it up last night and it's saying permanently closed so I'm not sure I'm gonna ask her today if not I do have a good place by the house but it's really convenient to just walk out the door if there's some place downtown yeah Top Gun was good I had never seen it like I never saw the original one so we watched that Saturday night Sunday night and then went and saw the new one yesterday mom loves tom cruise so she was really excited to go see it yeah it was a good weekend it was pretty relaxing um saturday we had my sister and her husband and my nephew come over to hang out at our pool which we've been doing a lot more recently we hadn't gone to the pool like ever and now we go like almost every weekend so they came over and did that and then we actually did the same thing sunday because my parents joined us that day so we had pool two days in a row which was really fun and i also got a lot of cleaning and laundry done and then yesterday we just spent the day at my parents house for memorial day but yeah hoping it's a good week i'm about to be at work now and i will pick up the vlog later so i'm back home i didn't go get my nails done because i looked at the nail salon i usually go to and they're closed on tuesdays for some reason like random day of the week but they're not open on tuesdays so i think i'm gonna try and go tomorrow um and i talked to the girl that was telling me the one downtown was like open and then we like she was like oh no just kidding it must have closed or it must have been before they closed so I think it's confirmed that that one's like dead and gone. But yeah, so I'm going one more day with just this. My nail gets so long underneath. Like this is my natural nail and they never get that long. Um, and then usually they break off like underneath. Like either when I, I usually peel these off, honestly. And then it rips my nail underneath because they're super weak. I've never had good nails, but I'm like hoping this will stay intact so I can go get them switched out and I won't have to get tips on them. So that's the goal, but we'll see if it happens. I think we're doing zucchini boats for dinner, which is actually funny because I think we made that in the last vlog, but I've like talked about this before. I like do week in my life like every other week, every two weeks. Um, so it's not like I'm having the same meals like back to back, but it looks like that because it's like that's just when I film and then we like want to have the same meal again. So we're gonna do that for dinner because it's so good. I do have like a bunch of stuff that I need to like restock. I have um, like our containers and stuff in the pantry that just need like refills. And I was thinking about making a TikTok about it because I don't know, I've been like on my TikTok game lately. I've been trying to get a lot more TikToks out and just doing like kind of routine and aesthetic kind of stuff so i always see people do that when they have like a restock like fridge or pantry or whatever and they like fill up their containers so i'm gonna try and be all asmr and do that but yeah i actually got home had a decent time today and now i'm just gonna have to try to plan to go get my nails done after work tomorrow which i'm like ugh because i was gonna run tomorrow after work probably thinking i was getting them done today and now i'm like not working out today or tomorrow now so i'm just gonna have to wait till thursday which is whatever so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and pull out everything that needs to be restocked so i just bought all this stuff at the store um that definitely needs to be stocked so i have some cereal some pasta oreos definitely my caramel syrup for my coffee i've been putting this one off just for this i think i can go ahead and do sugar too it's not like completely out i think i'm gonna do the flour and what i do is i have this big basket of like extra stuff so this is where i pull from when i'm gonna do like a restock so i just i'm definitely gonna have to do the olive oil so let me take this out and that goes in this little bottle flour is at the bottom here i don't have a ton of flour left actually i think that's everything out of here use our containers for the cereal and i gotta see if i have a container for that pasta oh yeah i do i think i can put that in this for the cookies i just got this um container from target and I think I'm gonna put the Oreos in here. We used to have like a different jar and I broke the jar that our Oreos went, were in. So when I got these, I'm like, this might work and I think it's a little bit bigger. So I'm going to see. And I actually realized I have a bunch of fridge stuff. 
Look after your milk jugs and everything. So I'm gonna do all of um, the dry stuff and then I'll get stuff out of the fridge. Here are our zucchinis. We had a little bit of difficulty because one of our zucchinis went bad. So we had to take the biggest one and try and chop it up like three ways, but it still worked out. So good. Hi everyone, happy Wednesday. Is it, is it Wednesday? I literally, okay, if I don't go to work on Monday, I feel like my whole week is thrown off. I don't even know what day it is. But yes, it is Wednesday. I'm heading to work. Um, my nail is still holding on. I'm surprised it hasn't broken off yet. Like I said, my nails are just really weak. So I'm like wanting it to hold on until I can get them done today. And yes, hopefully I'm getting them done after work. I'm really tired. I kind of slept in a little bit. I know I just talked about how I want to get to work by like 8 and it's already like 9.30, but it's all good. Just felt like I needed a little bit of extra rest getting back to the work week. And we tried to get crumble last night, but they were out of like two of the flavors that we wanted. Um, I don't know why I thought to call first, which was like a good thing because I, before we drove over there, I figured out that they didn't have them. So I think John's going to go in like the beginning of the day, like today, like sometime soon. So that they're not out of stock. Yeah, we love crumble. We only get it if it's like a good week. That's what I tell myself. Cause like if the flavors are kind of like eh, then I don't really care. And I don't want to like waste eating cookies for no reason. But this week looks so good. It's like chocolate or it's like a chocolate chip cookie dough, pink donut, um, s'mores. Like all those sound so good. So I'm like, we have to try them. I'm still kind of up in the air about what I want to do for my nails. I feel like I want to do almost like a sheer white, like neutral nude kind of color, which I usually always do until I did the orange, but I actually really liked it having something fun and I got a lot of compliments, but don't know if I could do it like back to back. So I'll probably get something a little more safe. So I'm leaving the salon now. Finished product. Super natural and simple. I like them a lot. The girl told me it was going to be pretty translucent, which it definitely is, but I like that. I was almost debating getting French. So getting the tips and kind of having that show through is perfect. If not, I was looking at like a more solid white, but I think this turned out nice. What sucks is that I thought my nails had grown out enough under my nails I had on before, which they did actually. The one that I had like open, um, that was like long enough. I feel like where I didn't need the tip because I usually don't want them very long. But like the other hand, once she got off my nails from before, they were like a lot shorter. Um, so there really wasn't enough length to do like an almond shape how I usually want. So we ended up just putting tips on. So I was like, ugh. I was like looking forward to not having to do it and just being able to say they were my real nails, but of course not. But actually when she was taking them off, some of them were like already breaking and it just like, it's never gonna work out for me. She acted like, um, like maybe the next time like they'll grow out long enough, but one of them, like my thumb, I think, on one of my hands like already completely broke off. So that one's gonna be like way behind. Whatever, I'm probably just gonna have to get tips always. But I really like how these turned out. I'm excited to just have something simple again, even though I like the orange, but this is definitely better. It's actually really pretty. So we got dinner going in. We're doing salmon and asparagus. Um, and we actually have one of the like pasta sides cooking. It's just like a pre-made like package thing. Um, so we actually have a bunch that we can just kind of need to get rid of. Um, but this is actually really good gar creamy garlic shells. Um, so we're going to do that with fish and asparagus. We usually do potatoes, but John said he didn't want potatoes today. So this is the plan. And the sauce I put on is like a mix of like teriyaki, soy sauce, lime, garlic kind of thing. Super good. Dinner is served. So dinner was good. Actually, the asparagus was not good. I did something to them. I think because I put like the mixture, that like sauce, it had like lime in it. Um, and I put that on it and I feel like it made it taste weird. I usually just do like soy sauce. But now I'm going to make my lunch. I always make an extra 
piece of salmon and I love making a salmon strawberry salad. So I'm gonna take this baby spinach and arugula mix. I'm going to put a bunch in here. Um, and usually I mix with some romaine. I'm not sure if any of this is good still. So I'm picking out some okay pieces. It's probably better for me to just chop one up. And I seriously love the salad. It's super fresh. Also really filling with the salmon. So once you have that, take a piece of salmon. Actually, you should probably just kind of chop it up here. And then you're just gonna dump that in to the salad. This is actually a pretty big piece. We split the piece into thirds, so we ate two of them, and then that's why I have the leftover one. Then take strawberries. Yeah, it's so good. It's like such a good combination. That seems good. That's all I do for the salad. And then I have these little um, containers for dressing that are really good for lunch. I actually just do a little bit of like Italian dressing. This is all current. Um, sometimes I make my own dressing, but I haven't made it in a while. So I just use this for now. I need to take a tiny bit of balsamic vinegar and add that to this as well. And then I just shake that up. There's probably too much vinegar. And then there is my salad for lunch, all ready to go. Uh, also, here's our crumble. So excited to eat that soon. Oh, looks so good. This was the menu that I thought looked really good this week. This one's pink donut, s'mores, walnut, brownie, and cookie dough. So looks really good. We usually get the regular chocolate chip, but the special ones look so good this time that we had to try all of them. Besides the lemon one, I think the lemon one. So we just went to the mailbox and picked up this package because um, I got a notification that it was delivered. Uh, this is from Merit Beauty because I'm actually doing a video with these products. I'm almost done. I don't even think I can be seen in the frame. So I had gotten like emails from them, but I don't know why I didn't see them for some reason. And um, I saw like a follow-up email and it was like last chance or like this is our last time reaching out. And I was like, how did I miss this? Cause like I always at least take a look at like people that are emailing me to see if I like know or like the brand. And I hadn't particularly heard of it before, but I um, looked it up and it's like sold at Sephora and it's like this clean beauty brand. So I definitely wanted to try it. So I took them up on the offer and they sent me, I think three things that I got to pick out. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox them. But I'm gonna be using them in like a makeup video soon. Yeah, so the brand is like really pretty um, and the products look really nice. It's like they only have, it was like a seven step skincare or like makeup routine. So it's like really simple. They only have like the basics, but um, it looked really nice. And yeah, it's at Sephora and I haven't even heard of it. So this is a little card, Merit Minimalist Beauty. The antidote to the oversaturated world of beauty. So it comes in this like, Nice little, oh, that's cute. It's like a little bat. And I picked out three things, like I said. Oh, I'm actually so excited for this. So I got the Minimalist Complexion Perfecting Complexion Stick. And I actually got this in like a darker color to work as like a contour stick. Um, and then I got the lip oil, I think. Yeah, the Shade Slick Tinted Lip Oil. It's this one. And then the last one was like a cream blush. So this is the Flush Balm and the color Beverly Hills. The shade stick is in, is that what it's Shade stick? Shade slick. The lip oil. <laughs> All natural. And I got the contour stick in Tiger Eye. So I'm gonna have open them up. This is so exciting. I know, I'm so glad I caught the email because I was like, um, definitely gonna try. And it's just like nice, like sleek packaging. So it just says Merit. It's supposed to be like a mix of concealer and foundation, they said but I need a new contour shade, so I thought I'd try it as that. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Oh, see the bottom is just to like twist it up. I'm gonna swatch it. Oh yeah. Oh, I like barely even pressed down on that. Hopefully it's not too dark, but I think I can buff that out. And it's nice because it's really creamy, so I think that'll be really pretty. Right now I use like the Fenty matchsticks and it's like kind of hard to blend out sometimes, so this is like extra creamy. And we'll blend in. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And then the lip oil. I did this in like, not they had like a clear shade and then they had like a taupe and then like a peachy nude. I did like the peachy nude. I'm like hoping it's not too peach looking. Oh, that's pretty. I've been seeing everyone get like the Dior lip oil and all these other brands. So I wonder if it's like kind of like thin or if it's, oh pretty. Yeah, it's kind of like a lip 
gloss, but still kind of like a pretty solid shade. I wonder how much that like will blend out. Oh yeah, nice. Oh, that's pretty. And then last, I think this color is gonna kind of like go with this is the blush. This is also kind of like, like a peachy shade and it's kind of like a, a dome. Oh, nice. Yeah, so this kind of has like a sheen to it. I've been using the Milk Makeup uh, Lip and Cheek like tint, I think it's called. Um, and I like broke the cap of it so I can't even like take it anywhere. So this is so exciting. Oh, so cute. Thank you, Merit Beauty. Can't wait to actually try these. And I'll probably film a video for this um, in the next couple weeks, so look out for that. tired and I thought I was gonna go on a run after work um I like brought my stuff and everything and it was like when I left work it was like 5 30 maybe so I walked outside and it was like it already felt rainy or like it was gonna rain or it just rained and I looked at the forecast and it was supposed to rain in like an hour or so at least like by the time I was getting back I would probably got rain on and I already kind of wasn't feeling it so I kind of used it as a sign and excuse the point and yeah, I'm just, I feel really tired today. We already ate dinner. We had chicken chili in the crock pot, which was really good. And I'm cleaning up now. I made cornbread for the first time from scratch, and it wasn't very good. I uh -huh. Everything else I make is good. I uh -huh. Right? Right? Yes, dear. <laughs> is that your husband? <laughs> yeah, no, I don't like baking. I've said it before. I can't bake. I can cook. Can't bake. Probably, I just want to sit and do nothing, which is bad, but I have to finish up our thank you notes for the wedding, which that shouldn't take me long, so I might do that in a little bit. But for now, I might just sit on the couch and catch up and maybe play on the whole thing, because... Plus NBA Finals. Sure. That's Celtics weird. versus Warriors. But I got back from playing Animal Crossing now that I have time, and it's just like my heart and soul. But I was like not understanding for a while, so I was like in the same spot, like I couldn't do anything. I was like, I just have like a wooden bridge and like there's nothing else to do. And they just built like the resident tent like up to like a building. So now there's like a million more things to do and I was like waiting for this moment, so. Yeah, might do that for a little bit. And I like to do it before like the shop closes, which is like at 10, like no shop like closes. And then I can't do anything, so I might do that for a little bit. Even though there's so many other things I could be doing, but I try and tell myself not every second has to be work or being something. So I'm trying to get better at that. Hello, it's Friday. I'm on my way to work. I just can't kick this like lethargic, I don't know, I just feel so tired this week. I think because I haven't been working out, honestly. It's giving me more energy. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to rain again today, so I probably am not gonna run. Um, yeah, we could totally go to the gym, <laughs> which we probably should. We just haven't been in forever. We're actually going to a new gym starting next month. Um, it's really cool. It's opening up new by our house and they just kind of have everything. They have workout classes. It's much bigger. Um, even for like our basic membership that we're getting, we like get to do classes and I'm really excited about that because I used to do that at USF and it was like a lot more motivating, I think. I don't know. I'm always fine once I get to the gym or I get on my run, but it just hasn't been working out for me. Anyways, heading to work. I still have a pretty long day today. Um, I think I'm going to be there till like five or later. Yeah, probably going to keep tonight kind of chill. We have a busy weekend. Uh, we're going to be going out tomorrow and Sunday for friends birthdays so yeah probably gonna just stay in tonight but i just want to get through today um hopefully you can stop being so tired johnny in the kitchen my hair mess probably <laughs> another lazy night and 
it's gonna be raining again, I think. We are about to make orange chicken and fried rice for dinner because we're being lazy. And yeah, so just gravy goes, frozen chicken we have in the oven. And then I'm about to get started on fried rice. So to fry your rice, we're gonna heat up some oil. And then we like cooked rice already. And then you're gonna want sesame oil, onion powder, garlic powder, uh, salt and pepper. So I'll do cracked pepper. So I have this and salt over there. I still wanna get like spice jars from Amazon or whatever, but I haven't done that yet. Actually, I don't need a ton of salt. So, use soy sauce. Soy sauce, a little bit of teriyaki, even though that's actually like soyaki, so it already has soy sauce in it. I'm gonna need green onions, and these are about to die. And then eggs, however many you want. And you take your rice. Mix that all in. And you're gonna start seasoning with a lot of soy sauce. And then it's a ton of seasoning. So a ton of garlic powder, a ton of onion powder, pepper, not as much salt because there's soy sauce, obviously. So keep this going and then we do it a little bit of teriyaki and a little bit of sesame oil. Don't put a lot of this because it's like really strong. You can like taste it a lot. Then what you're gonna do is move your rice over. We just scramble it in the pan. And this cooks obviously in like a second. And just go ahead and mix. Then you're gonna wanna cut up green onions. Bon appetit. Trying just this in a bowl. Did it served. Wow. Yeah, your hair is a mess. You look right. This homeless. is my work outfit, so it's kind of my how I look all day. Yeah. He wears like the same, this is his uniform. Sweatpants, socks, green t-shirt. <laughs> Literally down to like the same t-shirt. Should probably switch that up. I just switched it yesterday, thank you very much. Thank you.